your baby sister, Emily. Keep on sending your birthday cards into us here at the usual CBeebies address and do send in your cards nice and early to CBeebies, PO Box 1234, London W12 6WX. And if it's your birthday today... Hi, right, today I'm going to be showing you a fantastic experiment using hot air. So I need a good powerful hair dryer. Let me just check it. That sounds good. And all I need to do to make this balloon fly is use some hot air from my handy hair dryer. So I'll just put some hot air into the balloon. And when it fills up, it starts to float. And that's because when air gets hot, it starts to get lighter. And soon the air inside the balloon is lighter than all the air around it. So when I let it go, it should... <gasps> Float. Oh, that's brilliant. And then the air gets cooler, gets heavier, and comes back down to ground. Felix! Felix! Yes, my dears? We've, We've got, got a present, present for you. you. Catch! Oh, an umbrella. But it's not raining. Not yet, yes. it's not. Hmm? Whoa! Whoa! Get him! And as I was looking at it, whoa, whoa, it got brighter whoa, and brighter no, no, and thick. No, 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 not there. Oh. <laughs> We've, We've got, got you now, now Felix. Felix. I think not. <laughs> whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely soaked! Why, so you are. Glad I brought my brolly. <laughs> Rather amusing. Oh, I hear a beep. I see a flash. I wonder what they're going to ask. Clouds. Fluffy white clouds and dark grey clouds, but fingers crossed not too many rain clouds. Today, for one day only, Alice and Jay become the Experimenters! Hi, Nina! Why are you lying in the ground? We're, We're watching, watching clouds. clouds. Oh. They make all kinds of different shapes. <gasps> Can I join you? Yes. <sighs> oh, look! Oh, there's a cloud that looks like a fluffy sheep. <laughs> what different shapes can you see in the clouds? That cloud looks like a pterodactyl. Oh man, I just love looking at cool white clouds, especially when the wind is blowing them across the sky. Yes, and they look so fluffy to the touch, don't they? Oh, absolutely, Felix. In fact, we're hoping that Jay and Alice will get a chance to feel a cloud today. Feel a cloud? What a treat! How exciting! So, your question was, what do clouds feel like? Well, I'm afraid we're too low down to feel those clouds up there. So I've brought some things with me that look like clouds, and you never know, they might feel like clouds too. <laughs> Here we have... What's that? Cotton wool. Yes, it is. Have a feel and tell me what it feels like. It feels soft. Yeah? It feels fluffy. I've got something else in here, which looks a bit like a cloud. Oh, it's a sheep! <laughs> yeah, it's a sheep. And he looks a bit like the sheep-shaped cloud I saw earlier. So what does he feel like? It feels soft too. So I've got one last thing that looks a bit like a cloud. It's candy floss! <laughs> so take a little piece and have a feel. Hmm. Now, what does that feel like? It feels sticky. Yeah. yeah, it does feel a bit sticky. So, clouds must either feel soft and fluffy, like the cotton wool and the sheep, or sticky, like the candy floss. Hmm. But, to be sure, I think we need to learn a little bit more about what clouds are actually made of. Yeah! Now, I've brought along some drinks for us today. There's a glass for you girls. I've brought some hot tea and some nice cool water. Now, when you usually see water, it's like this. All runny and wet. But water can turn into something else. Can you think what it is? No idea? Well, why don't I show you with my hot tea? 
Now, watch carefully and see if you can spot anything when I take the lid off. Can you see anything? It's steam. That's right, it's steam. Because the tea is hot, it's giving off a, a white, misty steam. And that's because water turns into steam when it gets hot. Now, did you see the steam was sort of drifting away there? Where do you think it went? It goes where the wind goes. It does just sort of disappear, doesn't it? And you may think it disappears, but it's still here, all around us, floating in the air. And I've got an experiment to show us it's there. Now, what I'd like you to do is breathe on the mirrors like this. Now, what happens to the nice shiny mirror? It's gone all misty. Yeah, that's right. And it's actually invisible water on your breath called water vapour. And when your warm breath touches the cold mirror, the water vapour cools down and turns back into liquid again, so you can see it. Hey, it looks like the kids have made their very own clouds on those mirrors. Now, the water vapour that's in the air, it doesn't all just come from hot tea or our breath. It can come from anywhere where there's lots of water, like... The lake! <laughs> yeah, that's right, there's lots of water in the lake. Can you think of anywhere else? Puddles. Oh, puddles? <laughs> bath! And the bath as well. Do you know, water vapour comes from all of these places and they all help make clouds. Right, guys, now the sun is heating up some of the water in the lake and turning it into invisible water vapour. And it's rising up and up, just like the steam did from my tea earlier. And as it rises really high, it cools down and turns back into liquid drops of water. So is that what makes a cloud? Exactly right. All those tiny drops of water make a cloud. Then the cloud makes it rain. Fantastic. Gee, if you can hold the spray and give me one spray on the mirror. Oh, brilliant. Now, when all the little drops of water that make a cloud are small, they hang quite happily in the air, just like these drops of water are sitting happily on the mirror. And as the drops get more and more, on you go, Jay. <gasps> they all join together and become big and heavy. And when they get too heavy, just like they are in this mirror, they start to fall as rain. And then it all starts again. The sun keeps heating the water, the water keeps making the clouds, the clouds keep making the rain. So now we know that clouds are made up of tiny drops of water. And when they get too heavy, they start to fall as rain. Oh, oh, but we still haven't answered your question, Alice. What do clouds feel like? For that, I think we need to go back to my lab. Let's go! So, Alice, your question was, what do clouds feel like? And we found out lots about clouds today, but we still don't know what they feel like. <laughs> so, Felix, are you standing by here to help? Ready, steady and at your service as ever, Nina. What's Nina up to, Ollie? Well, to be honest, Bud, I'm not really sure. Don't fret, little Bud. All will be well. Felix the Fabulous is well in control of this one. Right, here goes. Now, I have a tank with some hot water in it. And I'm going to add some of this. Now, this is dry ice, and it's very, very cold. Much colder than normal ice. <gasps> so, stand by. We're about to answer your question. What do clouds feel like? Are you ready? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Woo! What an interesting sensation. Hmm. It's a bit strange. Well, it may feel funny, Felix, but it sure looks amazing. Where to go, Nina? You're the cloud queen. <gasps> oh, oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> so what does it feel like, Alice? It feels cold. Jay, what does it feel like? It feels wet. Yeah, and is it how you imagined it would feel, Alice? Yes. Yes? Oh, so I'm really glad we managed to answer your question, Alice. You wanted to know what do clouds feel like, and we found out they feel wet because they're made of water. Thanks, Nina! <laughs> <laughs> it's been a busy, busy day. Questions answered, experiments done. We've all used our senses in so many ways. Tell me, neurons, what have you done today? Oh, I've had a brilliant...
brilliant day. I like the hairdryer best. It was so loud. Ah, it's been such a great day, man. Gazing at the lazy clouds is one of my favourite pastimes. I really enjoyed myself today. I thought the mirror experiment was fascinating. I never knew there was so much water in the air. It's been a marvellous day, Nina. I actually got to touch a cloud. And it was, well, very damp, actually. Well, we've had a sensational time today. I hope you've enjoyed it too. See you again soon. Bye. 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 Something mighty exciting to show you. It's mighty active, mighty strong, mighty tricky, mighty muddy, mighty slippy, mighty whizzy, mighty bouncy, mighty impressive, and mighty fun. It's Mighty Mike. Tomorrow at 3:45. Brand new on CBeebies. So come and join in. Hello and welcome to the Nuzzle and Scratch Quiz with our only contestant, Sid. Hello. First question. What is Nuzzle and Scratch's catchphrase? Is it, hurry up, heard up dude, or hello, how are you? Hmm, I think I know this one, Andy. Is it, heard up dude? Correct. Time for our next question. What musical instrument does Scratch love to play? Is it...